What's going on, everybody? So I was watching MD Creekmore, and he had a video talking about. It was a good video, talking about starving people into submission, and uh, I could see something like that happening. But as far as your preparedness is supposed to go, your preps, um, your all together overall prepping. Uh, I've done a video on heirloom seeds. I understand just seeds would be not very fun having just a garden or something like that. I understand it's kind of hard for people to have gardens in some areas. I'm in the city. I've been a, in the city for years, uh, different states or whatever, but it seems like I'm always stuck in the same spot. So I ended up you know, I've been pushing with this whole land thing, but you can do a lot with your preparations to make sure that someone couldn't uh, starve you into any type of submission. I know they're probably going to end up being some sort of taxing something or whatever if you don't have certain things they want you to have nowadays, but if you didn't have to worry about buying food, especially with the price of food going up already and it just the overall supply chain issues and uh, inflation the whole situation yeah it could I mean I could see that being something that they can make an attempt but how could they do it to you if you're already you're already prepared I did uh, order more seeds because I felt like just a couple of packs weren't enough I'd like to be able to put them in a few different spots yeah, I like putting stuff all over the place so if I buy one of something on, and I really like it I'm buying three to five I just just ensures me that if two or three of the spots get hit for whatever reason, have a fire flood out or something like that, I still I'm still ensuring that I'll be able to have something at some point. So if you just stick with your prepping, keep going in the right direction with everything, it shouldn't be able to do it to you necessarily. And I'll show you guys the other seeds I try I'm trying to buy a couple different brands too just in case one brand doesn't work in quite as good in my area most of them are like um, uh, seed volts or whatever for heirloom seeds so I, I'm trying not to open them up either this year I might plant a few of them out of uh, each one you know a couple plants out of each uh, different brand just to make sure that way I know there when I go to buy the next one I'm buying like 8,000 seeds and 5,000 seeds and they've all been under $20 so and all on Amazon I, I, I had I think I left a link in the other video of the seeds but I'm kind of ranting here going off into another section but they can't starve you to death if uh, or starve you into submission if you are prepared enough uh, if you've got a year's worth of cans, if you've got a year's worth of 30-year shelf life stuff, if you've got a year's worth of dry goods, the rice and beans, and, and if you, you know, sugar and salt and all that, but if you have enough, well, I mean, what can anybody tell you? If, and if nothing goes wrong and you've got a couple years worth of stuff, somewhere in the future start you know you're supposed to be rotating through with some of the 30 year shelf life stuff I kind of just put it up off to the side and if I need that I'll I'll use it maybe here and there we'll take some out camping or something like that so it kind of very mildly might get rotated so you're going to be rotating stuff anyways but if you and like I said if you don't end up needing it there's always you know okay we're not buying groceries for three months or something like that and you've saved yourself that money from the price doubling because of supply chain doubling because of inflation next year or something if nothing happens and you want to start eating it and not it's just a food insurance <laughs> food insurance will keep you from starvation and control from starving so stay prepared keep keep on your game i know it gets tedious sometimes but it's also helps you sleep better at night Everything's good. Everything's well. We, we got a big snowstorm coming tonight. Uh, well, overnight, early morningish or whatever. I don't know how many, half a foot or more or something like that. But it's supposed to be a 
some around 60 mile per hour winds or something like that. It's a 24 hour storm or something. So, but why would I run out, go to the store now, go, oh no, oh no, you know what I don't have? You know what I don't? Well, I already know I got enough for stuff like this. I, I was prepared for winter before winter hit. So, yeah, I don't know. Stay on your preparedness game and, uh, Good luck to all you. Any questions, hit me up in the comments section. Give us a thumbs up if you could. That helps. And we'll talk to you soon.